Hmm? Oh, hey, babe. Welcome home. Oh, well, you know me chowing down as per usual. I was a little hungry after hitting the gym. It was shoulders and back today. I was hoping to save the cardio for later tonight. <laughs> That's all right with you, of course. Uh, oh, I'm only joking. Try not to blush so hard. No, I'm just kidding. I like you that way. Well, anyways, eating now kind of defeats the purpose of going, but I'll just skip lunch tomorrow or something. What do you mean? Skipping meals is fine. I'm trying to lose weight. You gotta be hungry some of the time. Calorie deficit, baby. Well, how was your day, huh? Classes go all right? Hmm. I am not changing the subject. I would just rather not talk about my body dysmorphia. And I'm always interested in your day. Look, I appreciate the words, but... I, I don't know why I feel like this. I look in the mirror and I... I hate the way I look. I hate the way I feel in my body. Yesterday, one of my gym friends, Nick, asked me how I managed to get with you. I might be lying if I said that didn't sting. I already know I'm out of your league, but he didn't need to say it like that. I guess that comment just kind of pushed me over the edge. I was in the gym for two hours today, and this is my first meal. I, I just never feel good enough. It's not your fault. You've reassured me too many times to count, and I, I still just can't seem to get over this. And it sucks because I'm always hungry, and my body's always so sore from working out. Just because I can't accept them good enough. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I just dumped all that on you as soon as you got home. You should have just let me change the subject. No, honey, you're too nice to me. Really, I don't know how you put up with me. Thank you. I know I don't have to thank you. I, I just want to. I should have brought it up sooner, I know. Are you sure, dear? You haven't really gotten to sit down and relax, have you? All right, if you say so, I could really use some attention right now. Massage for my poor little muscles sounds really nice. Especially if you'll be making me use them later. <laughs> That's that face again. Yeah, I was working on them a little bit while I was eating, so I got the oil out. <laughs> You're funny. Everything hurts. I guess you can start on my shoulders, though. I can just sit down between your legs and you can sit on the couch and wind down a little bit. Hey, what can I say? I'm always thinking about you. I can't be stopped. Oh, man, that feels good. Now this is your chance to berate me for not taking care of my body. I'm glad you still haven't lost faith in me yet. But we'll get better eventually, I think. I, I did look into some therapists you sent me a while back. I might go through with one. Thank you. I don't want to keep making you my therapist, right? You haven't got the proper training to handle my problems. Oh, right there, next to my right shoulder. You feel that knot? No? I can feel it. The whole thing feels like knots. If 
fair enough. It certainly feels that way. I think so. Well, you always compliment me either way, so... I don't know sometimes. I, I think I'm looking for my own approval. You always tell me how great I look, but I still feel so inferior. Hey, come on now. You know I don't like it when you ask completely logical questions. When will it be enough, huh? I, I guess I never looked at it that way. And you can still see my abs even though I'm sitting down. That is kind of impressive. Oh, so now you're too busy gawking at them. Get back to massaging. I like the way your hands are on me. It's one of the few times I do feel enough, and that's because of you. So never worry about having your hands on me. That's what I'd prefer. Anyways, babe, you want to switch it up? I mean, I feel like seeing your pretty face after all that, so... Anything that lets me do it, I'm happy with. Okay, and massage sounds perfect then. You know, I've felt that since the first day I saw you. That fateful day in the library. I was going through the motions, walking to my spot in the library, and there you were sitting in it. But my first thought wasn't, oh my god, somebody's in my spot. It was, oh my god, I need their number. Then my confidence showed itself for this special occasion and we had our first little study session, with the promise of more. You looked so approachable. We've been dating for a while now, and when have you ever heard of me approaching somebody I didn't know? Yeah, never. I don't know what came over me. Well, I do know. It was you. Quirky new kid I've never seen before who took my breath away. I thought we'd both be pretty shy when we were hanging out, but we kind of clicked, didn't we? Yeah, it took a while for me to read the hints. Hey, I didn't know. I thought it was too good to be true. And you know, sometimes friends offer their laps as pillows, you never know. <laughs> Well, I'm sure it happens somewhere. Can you get the other hand now? Thank you. I'm glad none of the calluses got ripped off today. I've been really going ham with them. Lucky I don't get too many blisters anymore. No, oh, yeah, babe. I remember I was in high school. One of the calluses on my hand started peeling off mid-lift. <laughs> It was not pretty. Well, enough about that part. I'm glad my hands are still mostly soft, despite all the lifting. I don't know. It's probably a mix of my well-moisturized hands and taking care of them in general. Last thing I wanted my hands and feet to feel like some old man who's been working his whole life. I want them pleasant. For you to hold, obviously. I enjoy holding yours. My hands are a tad bigger, but it makes me feel like I'm the one enveloping yours. <laughs> That's a new vocab word. I've noticed recently that holding your hands come with a familiarity. I like it. I've never really had that before. We have been together for a while now. Maybe it's about time to take it to the next level. No, come on, you know what I mean. It's getting to be about the time I pop the question. No, oh, you're so quiet all of a sudden. No messing with you, Dad. I know how you get talking about marriage. It's just nice to daydream every now and then. I'm a bit of a romantic, you know that. Yes, I do feel a lot better, thank you. Having our little talks like this help a lot. I know it might be exhausting with my constant self-deprecation. Actually, I lied. I know it is exhausting, even though you say it isn't. 
I you help a lot. I don't know what I'd do without you. Probably live at the gym and have no life at all. I think even a couple months ago I felt worse about myself now. It really only pops up anymore when a situation like Nick happened. Hopefully soon I'll have the level of confidence you have in me. Oh, I guess I never told you, did I? Oh, honey, there's a reason you don't see any pictures of me when I was younger. I was the one tubby little bastard. So I absolutely refused to be in any pictures. I still strutted around with a lot of confidence, which helped making friends, but pictures were always the one no-go. It was that way until late middle school. All my friends started to get into sports, and there was no way I was getting left out of that, so I joined the weightlifting program, and that's when it all started. The more I worked out, the less I hated the way I looked, but it was still never enough. I suppose those first 12 years of never really being looked at are a little tough to beat. So here I am now, still fighting my little battle that not many people know about. I'm glad you do, though. You've never judged me for it, and I love that about you. You always have my back. I still have a lot of trouble posting pictures online. <laughs> to me, it's like, no one cares. No one wants to see you with your shirt on. Keep that cover up. Even when I think about it a little more and dismantle it, that feeling still doesn't go away. It lingers until some sort of validation, usually from you. Man, you're so pretty. Do you always listen so intently when I'm talking? <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I don't notice when I'm lost in my words. It might be weird to say about your significant other in a relationship, but I admire you inside and outside our relationship. You're always so caring and thoughtful. I want to be like you. <laughs> you have no idea how it feels to be in a relationship with someone you kind of see as a role model. I mean, sure, we might argue occasionally, but, but I still strive to have just a bit of some of your qualities. <laughs> I'm rambling. Don't give me that face. I had to stop eventually, right? Okay. Thank you for the massage. How do you feel a tad bit loosened up? Oh, that could be a relaxing charm, of course. <laughs> it's getting really late now. Do you want to grab a quick midnight snack or go right to bed? Good choice. Alrighty, with your little excursion out of the way, let's head to bed. I'm getting tired. Doing that much talking really takes it out of you. <laughs> Would you like me to talk you in? Hey, I'm just... I just kind of figured you were doing so much for me earlier, I'd at least try and return the favor. <laughs> yeah, I always try to. Thank you for even noticing that. Believe me, I never forget your little acts of kindness. <laughs> no, not tonight, sweetheart. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I know I mentioned something about it earlier. Maybe we could just wake up a little early. Wink, wink, shove, shove. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thank you, sweetheart. From the bottom of my heart, I don't know what I'd do without you. Good night, and sleep well.